Hello everyone, my name is Vicky Liu, and today I will be giving a brief presentation about the implementation of the new Intel platform, codenamed Ivy Bridge, into Advantech's board level products. The third generation Intel Core platform incorporates the Sandy Bridge microarchitecture in conjunction with a smaller 22 nanometer process technology, which uses Trigate transistors and provides higher performance with the same and lower levels of power consumption. Input output is faster as new Ivy Bridge technology introduces USB 3.0 as well as PCIe 3.0. The theoretical USB 3.0 transmission speeds are 10 times faster than that of USB 2.0. For PCIe 3.0, the transfer rate is increased to 8 giga transfers per second from 5 giga transfers per second from PCIe 2.0. Cross compatibility makes migration even more convenient as the socket and pins are compatible with the second gen Intel Core, also known as Sandy Bridge. This produces faster time to market and reduces design costs. Memory compatibility includes up to DDR3 1600 and DDR3L 1333 for faster communication between components at a lower power consumption. Ivy Bridge is capable of three independent displays with support for the latest Intel Graphics API. It also boasts up to a 50% increase for 3D graphics performance. With USB 3.0, transmission speeds are theoretically 10 times faster than that of USB 2.0. This reduces data transmission time and also reduces power consumption. When comparing the transfer time as shown in the chart here, USB 3.0 greatly reduces the delay. What enables this increase in speed is the full duplex technology, which allows for two-way data transmission, thus being more efficient. The USB 3.0 port is backward compatible with USB 2.0 devices, in which users would not have to completely change out all the USB 2.0 devices they already have. This makes it more convenient. PCIe 3.0 supports a bitrate of 8 gigatransfers per second, which is nearly double the speed of the second generation PCIe. Because the newer display cards require higher bandwidths, PCIe 3.0 meets this growing standard. Another function of PCIe 3.0 is scrambling, so there's no need for 8B, 10B encoding. Since PCIe 3.0 uses a more efficient 128, 130 encoding scheme, the overhead is reduced, so the bandwidth is increased. PCIe 3.0 is backward compatible with existing PCIe implementations also, allowing for more convenience. The chart here shows the processor arithmetic differences between the Ivy Bridge CPU and the Sandy Bridge CPU when testing with Drystone and Wheatstone. The Ivy Bridge quad core i7 3612 QE processor resulted in a higher benchmarks than the Sandy Bridge i7 2715 QE processor. While both are clocked at a 2.1 gigahertz frequency, the i7 3612 has a power consumption of 35 watts which is 10 watts lower than the 45 watt power consumption of the comparable Sandy Bridge processor. The dual core Ivy Bridge i7 3555LE processor is clocked at 2.5 gigahertz with an even lower power consumption of 25 watts. This chart shows the comparison between the Sandy Bridge i7 2715 QE CPU, the Ivy Bridge i7 3612 QE CPU, and the Ivy Bridge i7 3555LE CPU for multimedia benchmarks. The Sandy Bridge i7 2715 QE and the Ivy Bridge i7 3612 QE are both clocked at 2.1 gigahertz with comparable multimedia benchmark results. But the new Ivy Bridge CPU has a lower power consumption at 35 watts. This chart compares the CPU performance between three different Ivy Bridge CPU SKUs and the Sandy Bridge CPU when testing with Passmark. As shown, the quad-core Ivy Bridge i7 3555LE processor clocked at 2.5 GHz received the highest score with a power consumption of 25 watts. The comparable quad-core Sandy Bridge i5 2515E processor, also clocked at 2.5 GHz, received a slightly lower score, but the power consumption is noticeably higher at 35 watts. The other two dual-core Ivy Bridge SKUs both have lower power consumption at 17 watts.